Hello guys, Keith on TV here, back for yet another video. Before we get into this video, let's see if we can get 50 likes. And if you haven't already, make sure to drop a sub, would help the channel out massively. So, it's been one year of Lee Bowyer. Now, it was officially his um, one year anniversary at the club. Um, Tuesday, I believe it was. Um, or was it Wednesday? Tuesday or Wednesday. But yeah, it's been one year um, that he's been in charge. Um, as Birmingham City manager um, and you know has it been a good one year there's been some positives and there's been a lot of negatives as well a lot of positives a lot of negatives now I mean when he first come in we had that new manager bounce um, the players were on board with um, Boya um, and we comfortably stayed up um, he won his first game 2-1 against Reading um, a red inside that are actually fighting for playoffs, if I'm not mistaken, as well. Um, we went away to Derby, went 2 1 there, beat Stoke 2 0 quite comfortably as well. We beat Rotherham in the last minute, Harley Dean um, winner from a header, um, but we wasn't actually that good in that game. So, yeah, we comfort comfortably survived, like I said, with two games remaining. Yes, we got battered in them two games, but Lee Bowyer put out a weak inside. Going into the new season, um, this season, um, we bought well. Our recruitment was good. We brought in players like Chong, Sarkic, Sanderson, Ryan Woods. Um, you know, we brought in some quality loan signings and also um, brought in some okayish players. Um, and um, we had a good start to the season. We had a good start to the season. We beat Sheffield United 1 0 away from home. We had a, a 2 0 win against Derby, 5 0 win against Luton away from home. Um, and, you know, it was looking good. We, it was actually looking good, surprisingly. Um, we started the season off well, and um, then we had, a, we had a mini blip, and then we won three in a row, um, beating. Well, I say a mini blip. Jesus, a, a mini blip. We went like nine games without scoring a goal, or even, you know, never mind winning the game. We went, we went nine goals without scoring a goal. But yeah, uh, a mini blip. I mean, a massive, a massive, massive blip. And then we won three in a row, beating Swansea 2 1, beating Middlesbrough 2 0 away, and also beating Bristol City 3 0 at St Andrews. Um, and then we lost to Red in 2 1. And that's where our season went really, really bad. Really, really bad. Because after that 3 0 win against Bristol City, we was comfortably sitting in mid table. But then after that Reading defeat, that was a. That was a run of um, us not winning. We didn't, well, we did win once or twice, but we won like two out of 20, something crazy like that. That put us um, close to the bottom three in terms of league position. Um, we was, you know, we still had a comfortable cushion above us and the bottom three. But um, yeah, and then we had, um, going into January, of course, we had injuries as well. Sarkic out for the season. Sanderson went back on loan to Wolves. McGree, to be honest, Lee Bowyer, yeah, this is one positive I'm going to bring up, Halovic and McGree, now Halovic of course he's not at the club anymore, he's at Reading, but Kranka wasn't getting the best out of him, Lee Bowyer yeah, got the best out of Halovic and got the best out of Ryan McGree, Ryan McGree, don't forget, was hardly, before this season, was hardly playing for us, he was hardly, hardly starting games and getting minutes on the pitch, so Credit where it's due to Lee Bowyer for that. But the injury is Sarkic. I mean, if we didn't have any injuries this season, if we still had Sarkic at the football club, where would we be? Because Sarkic, let's be honest, is a much better goalkeeper than Neil Leverage. Um, I mean, he got over 10 clean sheets for the club. But yeah, now, um, one year on, we sit in 20th place. Have we really improved? We're on course to potentially get less points than we did last season. But... Um, Lee Bo, yeah, like, I know I've been, I haven't been Lee, Bo, Lee Bo's biggest fan, but I'm willing to give him, because these players, you know what, these players, these players have underperformed every single manager, like six or seven managers now, so what I said I'm going to do is, I'm going to give him some chance to win to get rid of the Deadwood, and we'll see what happens, we'll see what happens next season, but yeah, if I was going to rate his time at Blues, um, we're not in a relegation battle this season. He comfortably, um, you know, avoided the bottom three last season. 
Um, a lot of players have got injured. Mengi as well. Mengi, he is going to be out until the last couple of weeks of the season. Imagine picking up a long-term injury and then coming back and then picking up another long-term injury. That only happens at Blues, isn't it? But yeah, if I was going to give a rating for Lee Boya, it would probably be... Um, well, we have actually played better football under Boya than we did under Karanka, so that's another positive. Um, I would probably give it... It's been... I don't know. We haven't really progressed in the table have we? we haven't really you know um you, you know it's like the same it's the same really it's been the same as the last couple of seasons you know we've been in 20th we've been in 16th 17th 18th but you know i'm gonna give leave it in the comments what you think about i'm probably gonna give a five five out of ten um five out of ten is is that um fair but yeah, um, of course we've actually brought in some decent players in January as well, and we can we can improve. We can improve next season if we can get players like Chong. Um, I don't know why Manchester United would actually want Chong though, because they hard they hardly gonna play him, and it's not like he's like a really young player, like a 17, 16, 17, 18 year old coming through. He is at, he is in fact. Um, about 23 now, 23, pushing on to 24, I believe. So, yeah, hopefully we can get him in. Leo Taylor, Bakuna, obviously our player. I keep on, you know what, I keep on um, thinking that Bakuna's out on loan. He's, a, he's um, on loan to us, but he's not. Anyway, let's see if we can 50 likes. We can keep on TV, make sure to like, share, and also subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, guys. See you tomorrow at 4 the Swansea Review. Swansea Review will be out about 5 or 10 minutes after the actual game is finished. Thanks for watching, keep our time.